Welcome to Cash Discounting. The discounting app looks like a yellow background with a orange tag. Go ahead and just tap on the discounting app. You can set this up uh, using, the, um, using the web by typing on view, set up, email setup URL, put in your email address. We'll send you a link so you can set up the app from, the, from like a web browser if you need to. Okay? But on the app, you tap the setup button and tap Cash Discounting. We're going to remind you that really if you don't know what you're doing with your Clover system, then it'd be best to work with a Clover rep. It's really designed for, you know, for if, you, if you have a good knowledge of the workings of your Clover device. Okay. But that being said, uh, there's a big button here, Raise Unraise Prices Buy. You can tap that button and you can put in the up to two decimals. You can put in the discount amount that you want to offer. We put in 4% here. That When you set that up right there with that button, we are going to raise every price in your inventory by, by the amount that you chose, in this case, 4%. We're also going to uh, set up a system so that in the future, if you ever add any inventory item, it'll automatically update the price by 4%. If you update a price, it'll add 4% to that, to that price. So your inventory is automatically being managed um, as long as the app is installed. Okay. If you've already raised your prices using some other app, then just type you want to uh, you want to offer a ca uh, change the cash discount and just offer four percent because the prices have already been raised so you don't need to raise the unraised prices okay if you're uninstalling the app me make sure to just tap revert prices okay we also offer you the ability to change the discount label this is when we offer the discount this is what the discount would be called okay the credit label you can change that and this is basically um, you know, for on the on the receipts that are printed out, what does it say? Does it say list price? Does it say credit price? You know, up to six characters. Okay, so that's what that's for. Okay, now the um, if you have if you're using gift cards, uh, if you provide us the name of the gift card, uh, at least what appears in the inventory name, then what we'll do is instead of offering a cash discount, we'll we'll add an activation fee to the amount being purchased. And this is a better way to do it because different gift cards will um, they usually add the amount of the um, of the charge to the actual gift card, and that'll be the wrong answer. So instead, for gift cards, we do offer you an activation fee, which will be negated if they pay with cash. Okay, and then the other options are which buttons show up as far as the printout goes. Okay, you can print just cash uh, receipt, which will include the credit price. Just print the credit uh, receipt, but include the cash price. Print the cash and credit in dual columns, right, listed right next to each other. Um, and, then, um, and then if you do print the cash and credit, you, if you want to show both prices on all the items or just at the bottom. Okay? So those are your options. Again, you can set up, you can't do all those options, but you can raise the price or revert the prices uh, from the URL that we offer you. That's right here. Okay? If you ever have any trouble, just make sure you report the problem to us. Okay? Now to use the app, you would just go, like, say, for example, to the register app. We do work with the register, the dining app, as well as the sale app, and with custom items. Okay, so like you pick an item or just make your order just like you normally would. And after you, you hit the pay button, you're going to see that we're going to pop up and ask you, is this a credit? Is this cash gift or check? Or is this a partial cash payment? Okay, and if you choose the cash option, then we're going to offer you that 4% discount. See, and it's called whatever we chose as the label. Okay, and then you just finish your transaction like normal. Okay, now if it was a credit transaction, let's go ahead and do that again. You tap the pay button. Then this time, when you choose credit, you're going to see there's no discount offered because it's using the list price or the credit price, which has already been raised by the 4%. Okay, um, I'll give you just one other example is if you were to want to offer a printout, you can do that here. We do give you a, a credit printout, with, which includes a cash price at the bottom. You can print the cash, um, the cash order, which will include a credit price at the bottom, or you can print both. And again, in the setup, you can decide if you have all three buttons, two buttons, or just one big button. Okay. You can also choose partial cash payment. Okay. If you choose a partial cash payment, then let's say I just choose, you know, we're going to pay two ways, and I make the first payment with cash. Okay. Well, see, then you get a, you're going to get the discount on the remaining amount for the uh, because you offered a cash payment, then we're going to ask you again, you know, hey, you know, what's the remaining, ba is you paying the remaining balance or is the remaining balance credit? And then you can make your next payment that way. Okay. 
So that's how you'd use it. Now, the app works uh, just as well on the dining app. It's a little easier because the dining app does the splits for you. Okay. And so, um, so that's, that's pretty much how you use it. It's pretty simple. Again, if you, but once the app is activated, I'm just going to show you, if you were to go into the inventory and if you were to add a new item, it's going to increase the price of that item automatically. Okay. So like, I'm just going to add a, um, here, let's, let's just add an item real quick. Add an item. We'll call this a test item. And, um, you know, we're going to make this a price of $10 just so you can see the raise real easily. Okay, $10 item. Tap save. Okay. Now that item I just added, um, and we called it test. And um, see, there it is. See how it went from 10 to $10.40. See, so the, the, the item price is automatically raised. Okay. So that's pretty much the, the entire workings of the app. If you have questions, be sure to reach out to us. You know, we do, uh, we will help you out. Just reach out to us at help at outpivot.us. And, um, you know, you can uh, also submit a ticket if you need to.